Today we celebrate the baptism of the Lord. This sacrament is an indelible mark that cannot be repeated. So we are truly blessed to be baptized in the name of the Lord. And so we begin. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who when Christ had been baptized in the river Jordan, and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him your beloved Son, grant that your children by adoption, reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, may always be well-pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles Peter addressed Cornelius and his household. The truth I have now come to realize, he said, is that God does not have favorites, but that anybody of any nationality who fears God and does what is right is acceptable to him. It is true God sent his word to the people of Israel, and it was to them that the good news of peace was brought by Jesus Christ. But Jesus Christ is Lord of all men. You must have heard about the recent happenings in Judea, about Jesus of Nazareth and how he began in Galilee after John had been preaching baptism. God had anointed him with the Holy Spirit and with power. And because God was with him, Jesus went about doing good and curing all who had fallen into the power of the devil. The Word of the Lord. The Lord will bless his people with peace. O oh, give the Lord, you sons of God, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Adore the Lord in his holy court. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The Lord's voice resounding on the waters. The Lord on the immensity of waters. The voice of the Lord full of power. The voice of the Lord full of splendor. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The God of glory thunders. In his temple they all cry, Glory! The Lord sat enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Alleluia, alleluia. The heavens opened and the Father's voice resounded. This is my Son, the Beloved. Listen to him. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to be baptized by John. John tried to dissuade him. It is I who need baptism from you, he said, and yet you come to me. But Jesus replied, Leave it like this for the time being. It is fitting that we should in this way do all that righteousness demands. At this, John gave in to him. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he came out from the water, and suddenly the heavens opened and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming down on him. And a voice spoke from heaven, This is my Son, the Beloved. My favour rests on him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Brothers and sisters, today's feast of the Lord's baptism marks a new beginning in the life of the church as we come to the close of the Christmas season. For next week, we will begin the ordinary times of the church's life. Jesus came to John the Baptist to be baptized at the River Jordan because as Messiah, he came to identify with the people to liberate and save, especially the poor, the rejects, the outcasts and sinners. This group of people did not enjoy the privileges and was sadly categorized as dispensable. The kingdom of God proclaimed by Jesus will break into the world scene, not in a loud and spectacular manner, but in a quiet and gentle way. We have it in scriptures that goes, He does not cry out or shout aloud. He does not break the crushed reed or quench the wavering fire. This kingdom mission widens to include everyone, as in the case of the household of the Gentile Cornelius in the Acts of the Apostles, and therefore reflects a universal dimension. Today, each one of us, by virtue of our baptism, is grafted onto the person of Jesus as God's beloved and commissioned to continue the saving works begun by Jesus as his disciples. In baptism, we are called to continually die to the old life and rise to the new person, to put the past behind and to look forward to the future with hope. The perennial question that we need to ask ourselves, how do I desire to live as a baptized Christian for the new year 2023? And what are the areas in my life that I need to improve so that I can truly reflect my dignity as God's beloved? The reality, my dear people, is that baptism is not a one-way ticket to heaven or being a member of an exclusive social club. Rather, our baptism calls each one of us to play our part in a committed and responsible manner, especially in the society and the world that we live in. Let us always remember, perhaps we forget from time to time, that we are given the Holy Spirit as advocate to mold us so as to live our lives in an empowering and liberated manner, because we are going to be in situations where we can feel uncomfortable among friends, disturbed and not having ready-made answers. The challenge here is the need to speak in a way that makes the kingdom of God attractive to the people of today's times and not dance or compromise to the tunes of our secular world. I've heard comments that the young no longer find the church as relevant and have stopped coming to church. What are we going to do about this situation? Because when we begin to lose our young people, it begins to spell trouble, especially for future leaders in the church. The important thing is our young is looking up to us as role models. And therefore, we have to live our lives as baptized Christians with conviction, with joy, and with hope. And therefore, we can touch the hearts of the young and help them return back to church and participate in the life of the church. And so just like Jesus, there's no turning back for us as baptized Christians because we need to continually immerse and anchor ourselves deeply in the person of Jesus, especially through scriptures, personal prayers and the sacraments, not forgetting the Eucharist. The fact is, you and I have something powerful and life-giving as God's beloved to share with others and make a radical difference in the society and the world that we live in. Amen. We want to pray this wonderful prayer where Jesus revealed the name of God as Abba. And as His beloved children, let us in unison say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. 
Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and your family members, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and proclaim the good news to all. Thanks be to God.